I'm dead. not afraid of death. It's living that scares the shit out of me. Stanley? You know what's back there, right? You've been there your entire life. Hitting buds on a keyboard. Supposedly have a wife at home that you've never seen. All right? An ominous voice from the heavens talking to you. Could that be real? Or is the truth down this hole? There's only one way to find out. And that's to look darkness in the face and smile. <laughs> We're back. We're back once again. Oh, last time I was here, I didn't do such a good job. Uh... Yeah, we may, la I don't know if you saw the last video, but we beat this game in record time, all right? So I have i haven't seen more than like a handful of rooms. So we're going to go try and be a good employee this time because, uh, yeah, we weren't so much last time. Now, All his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? You're, you're back. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply yes. missed a memo. Yes, Stanley did, narrator. I apologize. For the way we, we we got off on the wrong foot, narrator. And for that, I apologize. I'd like to remedy that situation. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You remember last time we didn't. We went this way. A bunch of times. And he got pissed off. We're going to be good little boys this time. Hello. Welcome. Meeting room. Hell, hey there, meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Mm -hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, mm -hmm. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <sighs> now listen, guys. I know I said I was going to listen to him. But I wasn't able to go down last time. So we are going down this time. What the fuck is this? Is this my boss's office? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Right. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. What was that? Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. None of it made any logical sense. It didn't. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet <laughs> when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yes. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. What was it? I'm dreaming! Yes! He yelled. This is all a dream. This is all a dream, oh, guys. What Whew. a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Amazing. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Nope. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing <laughs> buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Did he? Oh, shit. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. <laughs> it was so much fun, Woo! and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Yo, this is How awesome! How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. What? One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Right? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. 
I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. <laughs> and while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. What? Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to yeah. Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Yeah, I was flying. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was huh. in control. Yes. That this was a dream. Yes. So he closed his eyes gently... And he invited himself to wake up. Mm. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his ah, back, yes. the fresh air of a world outside this one. Ah. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Mm. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Mm. I am okay. Yes, wake up. Well, fuck! Hello? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I'm real. I must be real. Please. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went blank. Hello? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her what? place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> no and way. although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Wow. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wow. You at least kiss my ass before you go. Well. Uh, so yeah, officially, there are different endings to this game. All right, now we know that for sure. That was the speed run of all speed runs. Matter of fact. Okay, let's go. All right. All we of know, his co-workers We know I to go to go and blah, blah, blah. We got it. Stanley right. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <gasps> oh, you know what I want to do? You know what I want to do this time? Something when I didn't Stanley do in the first video. A set of two nope. Open doors. This I didn't. was not the correct way to the meeting yes, room. And not. Stanley knew it perfectly mm -hmm. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. That's not what I wanted to wow. do. Yes. It's amazing, this right? room... To hell with but it. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, you mean this one? Nope. Something I want to do. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. All right, let's just go ahead and, uh... Woo! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yeah, that's what Good I thought. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. Now that is the fastest run. 
Actually, you know what? All of his co I want to try that door on the left because I never did, did that mean? one. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. He didn't. All right, there's no memo. Watch this. I wish I could sprint because I would when be Stanley flying. Stanley came to a set of two Shut open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Uh, in my wow. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. Shut up. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Just like this. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But did he, though? Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking with the narrator, it... But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. <laughs> so now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh... uh from here, it's, um... Left. Is it? Oh, I'm totally pissing this guy off, and I love oh, no. it. Oh, no, no, it's shit. to the right, my mistake. <laughs> Son of a bitch. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I hey, thinking? What the hell are we doing it's here? Clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh my God. Get your shit together. All right. Now let's see. We went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This, door, this story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, wow, okay. Didn't expect that. Okay. I think I had any other choices, right? Let me check. Okay. What the fuck is this? No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um... um Fired. What was my number? Am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off Listen, track. Listen, I'm... Hmm? Okay. From the top. No! God damn you! I keep finding cool shit! All of his co-workers were gone. <sighs> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Here we go. Go check the memo. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. All right, shut the hell up. I'm standing. Wait. Wait. What? What? No. I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Yeah, there was a bunch Stanley, of... Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Uh... Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yeah! It was right here just a minute ago. It's supposed to be left or right. I'm sure that it's here somewhere. It's supposed to be left okay, or right. Then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Can I go this way? The fuck out of the way. I want to go that way. All right. Left or right is where we're supposed to go. I want to take this one. Story! I'm looking for a story. I see a story this way? The fuck is that? I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I don't think I could be more lost. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just No. Do we need to restart the game again? No, I got this. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. No. But it's gotta be better than this. No, 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 I got this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No, Why I not? I found some story. So, fuck! Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? There's no there's no Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Still be fucked up, please. Okay, yep, it's worth. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. What? Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? 
All right, that's new. All right. Hello? Story? Have you guys seen a story in here? Anywhere? Looking for a story. Uh -huh. I knew we'd miss something. The, the story. Here it comes. Yo, the story looking kind of scary as shit. What the fuck is going on? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Narrator, what the shit is happening? All right, my brain cannot comprehend what the fuck is going on. What the fuck? You know, on a little side note, y'all remember when the uh, Xbox 360 launched? There was a game called Condemned Criminal Origins. For some reason, the way this looks reminds me of that. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. It feels story. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, <laughs> how about this? You win! Congratulations! Hey! Let's go! I know you put in a lot of yeah. hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at what? all. You can't take we it back. No, you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. No. I have to restart. Listen, no, we were just getting... You son of a bitch! <laughs> all right, I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help... Of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Pretty simple. All right. Let's see what happens when we... Wait a minute. We're not supposed to go that way. <laughs> no, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. What? Oh, you son of a bitch. Wow. Wow. All right, Lon, where are we going? Follow the yellow brick road. Where are you taking me, Lon? Huh? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. You want me to go? Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, mm -hmm. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, all right, let's follow the yellow brick road. Da, 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 da. You want me to go upstairs? Well, I can't go down. So you're lucky. The fuck? Fucking parkour. I want to misbehave so badly. Skirt. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this line is wildin', y'all. Da 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 da. You're gonna go that way, huh? But what if I just go there? Never mind. 
da 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 Okay, so it goes that way. There's none to see there. Wait, cut the music. Uh, Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. What? This one? Are you fucking kidding me? Tell you what. Watch this shit. I got my camera phone out right now. Pull it up and take a picture. I'm mad that I said camera phone like a 90 year old man. Like there's any other type of phone on the market right now. Got my this here camera phone. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. <laughs> no. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Hotline? All right, we can go that way. Let's go back this way and see if he's got anything else to say. We're just an agent of chaos, to be honest. Still missing the doors. Did we make a mistake following the line? Perhaps we could have found the story on our own. Mm-hmm. I think we could have. All right, the line is defective. The line has been known to lie. No. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, that's, I, that gave me vertigo for a second. I'm not going to lie. No. <laughs> I can't stop doing that. I apologize. Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. No, no. Mm. What do you want to do this time? What do you want to do this time? You want to follow the line? Are oh, you not even talking? You know what, oh. Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't we make up our own story? You know what, Nara? I agree. Something Me and you. exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh. Ooh. This all sounds perfectly doable. I like Why it. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh. A little change of pace. I like it. Now, yes, this is exciting. Ah, you Just never know. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Hmm. Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready right, for I it. I want a floor made out of titties. All right? A floor made out of just just the most voluptuous soft titties you've ever seen in your life, all right? And I want to walk on them barefoot, all right? Barefoot. No socks on. Bare feet. I just had a fresh pedicure, all right? My feet are clean, and I'm just stepping on titties, all right? Like a damn, just, oh, it's so soft. It's wonderful. Oh, no, not you no, again. This is not... Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. I love how no it just lines or came monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Yeah, fuck this line. All right. All right. You know what? I still want my titty floor. That's what I want. And I want a three cheese gordita crunch. That would be great. Let's have one of those. All right. I want to veto the color yellow. All right. I want a Tootsie Pop. And I said a Tootsie Roll on the inside. I want it to be the souls of my enemies. All right. That's what I... What the fuck is this room? How many licks does it take to get to the center of the souls of my enemy? One, two, three. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Yeah. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Okay. Just walk in circles for a minute. You want okay. me to walk this way? I'm going to walk this so way. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, mm -hmm. which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. Right. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. Right. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes... 
then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I feel fucking horrible. Oh. I was gonna go through the wrong door. <laughs> what the fuck? The confusion ending. I'm not gonna go in here in case it starts. Wait a minute. Hang on, let me read. Where are we at? Discover the two new room has many additional doors. Yep. Starts again. Office is now dead end. Turn around, find another dead end. Adventure line. Yep. Adventure into unexplored territory. Find the line again. Find the confusion ending schedule. Narrator restarts the game, which is about to happen. Narrator forgets about the previous restarts. Stanley attempts to play the story, but is prevented. Unable to go anywhere or do anything. The game restarts. Six restart. Find the line again. Begin following the line. Find the identical replica of the office. Has begun to deteriorate. Attempt to make up a story here. Narrator restarts the game. <laughs> There's no longer an office. Simply black space. Wander in the blackness. Find a bookstore. Get bored and leave. Restart. Okay, let's do it. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. 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 The confusion ending. Yeah. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? But it seems like that's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Yeah, we're right here. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer... Oh, stop. Shit. Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? I think so. The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Mm-hmm. Heard <sighs> listen. I guess now we just wait. You know, Help! I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do- Hold oh, that scared the shit out of me! Okay. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Okay, is this still the confusion ending? I'm confused. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Didn't he say, I try to continue playing the game but can't? Right? So I'm going to try to continue to play the game. To the left. There we go. Yet there was not a single person here either. Okay. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm afraid... I don't want to, like, cancel this ending if I'm working on one. But this is another ending. I don't want to get caught in that loop either. Or let's just go upstairs. Fuck it. This wasn't here before. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. <laughs> I assume that's how that song goes. Okay. I don't remember that that being there before. 
This office is definitely different. And I'm allowed to- What the fuck? <laughs> this is strategy. Okay, before I get in that fucking elevator. I don't really want to go in here. There's so many options. Bro, I don't know what to do! I'm such a mischievous little bitch. I'm going up. Okay, let's go. Take me to the sky. Where the fuck are we actually going? Bitch! We'll go down then, bitch. How you like how you like that? All right, is this some kind of fucking sick game? Huh? What kind of sick elevator is that? I need to speak to the manager. Hey! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. This is this. a different what office. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> oh, there's no way I could know it. What about this? 420. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. That's right. I, there's no way I could know that. Two, eight, four, five. What's this? Two, eight, four, three. <laughs> Two, eight, four, zero. Oh, man. I just don't know what the code is. It's crazy. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> well, whoop de do. <laughs> Thanks, narrator. You're the real one, you know? My kind of fella, my kind of pal. Oh, this is creepy as shit. Oh, ugh. It gave me the kind of the little bit of the heebies. Not as much as that does. I'm just gonna push this button. Oh, an elevator that actually fucking works. Love it. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oops. Hello? I'm pretty sure that- Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, are you sure about that? Because it seems like I'm just gonna go whoop to the escape tunnel 
Rod Stanley! Although this passageway had the word escape Run! written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet- Run! Stanley! Don't listen to the narrator! Just go! The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. He's lying, Stanley! He's lying! At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. Yes. And willingly confront his I'm death. I'm not afraid of death! It's living that scares the shit out of me. Stanley? You know what's back there, right? You've been there your entire life. Hitting buds on a keyboard. Supposedly have a wife at home that you've never seen. All right? An ominous voice from the heavens talking to you. Could that be real? Or is the truth down this hole? There's only one way to find out. And that's to look darkness in the face and smile. <laughs> Bam! What'd I tell you, bitch? Oh, it scared me a little bit. Woo! As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer oh, to no, his no, no. demise, no, we're supposed it to... reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. No! Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief no. and shallow life. What the Stanley. fuck kind of machine is this? Why does this exist? You know what? Fuck you, Square. That's what I thought. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as what? Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Wait a minute, who the In fuck? a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What the? Don't think so, bitch! How you like me now? Huh? How you like me now? What in the fuck is going on? This game is wild! Hello? What the fuck is this room? What the fuck is happening? <gasps> Was... Was I supposed to do that? No. I actually broke the game right there. You saw that? I think I actually broke the game. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence Yeah, whatsoever. yeah, yeah. I already know what's Stanley gonna happen. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh, you think so? Watch this. I got some tricks for your ass. And stop! That's right, bitch! Farewell, Stanley, mm -hmm. cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Watch this shit. Open! <laughs> Bitch! You like me now. Now do not walk backwards, because apparently you can break the game that way. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Run. Please run. You need to get there quickly before she does something. Ooh. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Oh shit, this is the damn... office layout! This blueprint shows the office in the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, but the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Stanley's office, you come out, walk around, boom, 
Come through here, take the left, the doors, the corridor. Pacing of this opening section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. The two doors. The set of two doors open was the first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Our cabinets. Yo, this is sick. I actually really like this. The office. Button sounds. Love it. Really do love it. Credits. Shout out to the to those those people. Huh. Okay, let's see what else this place holds. Bosses are oh it, it can look different. Hmm. What is this? Narration outtakes. Stanley stood on the snow. What? Hmm. Let's see. For an entire Stanley game, roughly three separate times over two years of development. There are clips from early takes that were not used in the final Where game. Where were all of his co-workers? Oh, I don't know. How about... They're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing. Does that sound plausible to you? Push the number eight. Okay. That's a pretty sick little ring. You can probably sit in there and hear a bunch of shit. Underground, early version of the underground portion of the game. Nice. I don't know what I've done, what I've stumbled into. Freedom ending. This is the first incarnation of the freedom ending. Countdown desk. Never seen that. Oh, shit. Exit. What's this? Monitor room elevator, okay. That is a big red button. Zending. Here is now pause. Escape menu. Four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development. I feel like, like, should I be here? I haven't even seen the game, like, at all. I've just been fucking it up since day one. One option. Staircase, obey, disobey. Oh, yeah. I think just to be hitting, depending on how you in it. One option. First choice, disobey. Lounge maintenance to confusion ending. Look at this. You can see all the different endings. There's a vent that leads into maintenance. Huh. The drills is important to get right. This players will replay them so many times. Just that's number of times. Okay. Cargo. There's so much shit in this game. First off, I'm lost as fuck already. This is all different variations of my office. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, there's, there's more shit to see. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Listen, lady, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. 
You can still save those two. What? I'm you back? You can stop the program before they both fail. What's happening? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. No. Nope. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Oh! I thought I was going to stop this time. Hello? Ne uh, fucking, we're back! Oh my god, I don't know what's an ending and what's not! This game is blowing my fucking titties off! Alright? My nipples are missing. <laughs> I haven't seen them since I started this video. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.